once again privileged to join with our parent company, the Worshipful Company of Distillers, to hold the Gin Guild installation in these magnificent surroundings of the Mansion House. Tonight is a very special night. It's the fourth uh, anniversary of the creation of the Gin Guild. And the Gin Guild was set up by the Worshipful Company of Distillers in recognition of the growing strength of uh, gin sales throughout the world. And tonight we welcome 20 new members to the uh, Gin Guild. When you become a member of the Gin Guild, you go through a special ceremony. And the ceremony consists of not only um, saying an oath, but whilst you're doing that, you are holding a handful of juniper berries. And the reason why we choose juniper berries, they are the main botanical, main ingredient used in flavouring gin. So it's very much a gin um, ceremony, and you're also given a sprig, which represents a branch of a juniper um, tree. And also um, you have a, a brick, which reflects London, uh, London brick and London clay, where um, London is the home of gin. Now tonight is extra special because not only do we have the Gin Guild ceremony, we combine with our worshipful company of distillers and we have an excellent banquet in the Mansion House in the Egyptian Hall. And many people will never have dined in the Egyptian Hall. It's one of the best things you can do in your life in the centre of the city of London. So I'm really pleased to be here, to be installed as a rectifier of the Gin Guild, especially as being the first Belgian member. Um, I feel very honoured. Um, and especially um, as the Bishop Gin is made in the honour of my ancestor, the Bishop of Winchester, which was named uh, in 1551. Um, and to be also one of the first, I think, Anglo-Belgian gin, we say crafted in Belgium and distilled in London by uh, the master distiller Charles Maxwell, um, it's especially um, a, a great day for me. As an American distiller, um, when I was asked to apply as a warden by members of the Guild, uh, I was incredibly honored. Um, I've been distilling off and on for about 25 years. Uh, we've built a small but rapidly growing gin brand uh, and spirits line uh, that are distributed across the U.S. and in Europe. And we've gotten some accolades, uh, but to be sought out by the gin community here in London as a small American distillery because of the quality of our product is incredibly flattering and the networking we've been able to do in the, in the year and a half since we've been members and since a little over a year since I've been a warden um, has been very beneficial to our brand. So not only is it an honor, but it's a very good thing for us from a business perspective as well. So I'm really excited to be here. It's been a really special evening being installed alongside some really impressive people in the industry. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been amazing. Lots of pomp and pageantry. And then there's the added benefit as well, you know, bringing more women into the gin guild and into the gin industry. It's, um, you know, traditionally there haven't been many, so yeah, I'm really happy to be championing that cause. I'm very proud to be invited tonight. I have a great interest in gin, and over the last few years I've seen the growth in gin. So it's wonderful to come here, not only to be invited to be a member of the gin guild, but to meet a lot of people at the grassroots of gin and see a lot of old friends and colleagues. It's a, it's a wonderful opportunity to bring everybody who has a passion for gin together. This is a crazy week for us. We've just come out of World Class Miami. It's London Cocktail Week, 50 best bars, and today this is kind of the cherry on the cake. The uh, next 12 months for the uh, gin trade is going to be terribly exciting. There's no reason why our sales won't grow, not only in the UK, um, but throughout the world. I'm sure there'll be new distilleries popping up in the UK and also in Australia and New Zealand and, and in America. I think if you're in the gin trade, it's one of the most exciting times to be involved in it. And we are looking for not only for the next 12 months, but beyond that, where gin grows in great strength. <laughs>